film opening uh, July 13th, uh, a limited release called The Obama Effect. Oh, wow. Um, uh, we're going to open in 10 cities uh, in July and then a wider release mm -hmm. in October, closer to the election. So it's, uh, it's a film uh, about the 2008 election, mm -hmm. although it speaks to this election as well. Yes. And it's about a character who's so obsessed with getting him Obama elected that he is to the detriment of a lot of other things in his life, his family, his friends. Not in a tragic way, yeah. but uh, he's, you, you, everybody knows the euphoria that was around in 2008, and I think we've captured that in the film greatly. Uh, um, Glenn Turman is in it, and Vanessa Bell Calloway, oh, wow. and Megan Good, and myself. I also directed it and wrote it. And, and we have a, a crazy element in it, but a good crazy element. Cat Williams plays a staunch. Oh no! Cat Williams plays a staunch young black Republican. Oh no! Who I have to go to. He's my nephew by marriage. I have to go to him to borrow some money for the Obama campaign. So you can imagine the dynamics in that. And, and you wrote this. And I wrote it. Rock is my real nickname. I was Rock long before I was Rock. <laughs> you know, we, we couldn't think of anything else to name the show, so one of the producers said, we was in there four hours trying to think of a name. He said, Rock, why don't we just call it Rock? No, I'm an actor still, first and foremost. I mean, uh, directing is, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with directing. Directing is like washing a battleship with <laughs> you You know, and as a director, you learn to despise actors. They're always late, they're always in their trailers, you know, they're never on time. But, uh, but it was a sort of a natural progression for me to go behind the camera eventually. I first met this Jake seven, eight years ago. We were in Atlanta, I believe, and we were on a dais. And I'm looking at him in adulation. This is Jake's, he's looking at me in adulation to Charles Dutton. So we met then, and um, I've sort of, what, what's amazing about him and profound is just what a committed life. You know, and his style of delivering a sermon is what I consider uh, good acting. When I say that, I don't mean he's doing a performance. He doesn't preach act. Right. Exactly. He talks to them. Yes, exactly. and, it's a, and it's a big difference. Bad actors talk at you. Good ones talk to you. And that way they reach your soul. Yeah. You know, so um, um, when, I, when, when I even watch him on television, I think he's talking directly to me That's through that too. And sometimes I say, man, how did you know about that? <laughs> okay, I gotta, get, I gotta get myself together, I gotta do this and I can do that. So um, it, it's anybody, I mean, there's only a couple of people on the planet like this, James. A couple of people on the planet, you know? And, um, and those people that have that commitment, the committed life, even the ones that have gone on before us, the Martin Luther King, all the great people, the A. Philip Randolph, the, all the great civil rights leaders who committed their lives to something. Yeah. Committed, that's a big, big, big task. Yes, it is. Yeah. And he does it every day, so I have nothing but respect.